I've been wanting to make a side-scrolling beat-em-up for the longest time. Growing up I loved games like Streets of Rage and Turtles in Time, but I feel like recently we're again in the golden age of beat-em-ups with releases like Streets of Rage 4, River City Girls, Fight and Rage and a new Turtles game coming up. I also really love traditional fighting games and I used to play Street Fighter 4 and Soul Calibur 6 competitively, so I especially love these beat-em-ups that allow you to do normal cancels into specials and do like crazy stuff like ground bounces and wall bounces. So I want to have a game like that that allows for crazy combos, but I also want to bring in elements from fantasy games. Like for example, not every character does need to be melee based, you could have like a magician or maybe a dwarven hunter with a short range shotgun who can like set up traps and also like set his pet on people to attack it. Even though I had this idea in my head for a long time, I just kind of couldn't start working on it because I was working on a VR game for two years, which is finally coming to an end. And also I've only been working with Unreal Engine recently and I can't really see this work with 3D models. So I even thought I might have to go back to Unity just to make this game, but I really don't want to do that. So I started prototyping how 2D works in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is also something I've been wanting to do for a long time, but I just never really got to it. And like if you look stuff up online, like everybody just tells you it's horrible, just don't do it, just don't do it, just go back to Unity. But I just tried it out and it actually works. There's many issues with it, but I think for the kind of game I want to make, it actually works out if you work around those. And there are some plugins on the marketplace to alleviate those issues a little bit. But since I was using Unreal Engine, I decided to not just go for a straight up 2D game, but just have sprite based characters in the 3D world. So I can use these awesome stylized modular assets from the asset store and just kind of build my own maps with those instead of having to actually make 3D models from scratch and everything myself. Also this allows me to use like modern Unreal Engine lighting and particle effects to make the game look very modern and cool. Uh, for the sprite based character I'm still just using a free asset, but I've been studying some pixel art so I think down the line I can make my own custom characters or at least do some edits and add some attacks to the existing characters. I previously made a video about how to set up this whole like 2D 3D hybrid style so you should probably check that out if you haven't already and I used that as the base to start my beat em up game. The first thing I wanted to add was an enemy so I found this cool looking skeleton asset and imported it into the game and set up the flip books and everything. One of the cool things with Unreal Engine is that it's just very easy to possess any kind of pawn for the player so I actually want to make the system where you can unlock all the enemies yourself and play as them later on. There's this game on Sega Dreamcast that I used to love as a kid called Spawn in the Demon's Hand and it actually allows you to unlock a lot of the enemy characters and play as them. Even like huge bosses you wouldn't expect and even like very bad characters that have a single attack like Soldier 1, Zombie 1 and so I always thought it's super fun because you never know what's coming next and it's, it's kind of janky and you can challenge yourself to beat the game with a really bad character so I want to I wanna create that like sense of wonder and just fun without having to worry too much about balancing. When importing the assets for the skeleton I noticed some issues because it's not one sprite sheet but there were separate sprite sheets for each attack and there was kind of an offset between those animations so if you start the attack animation the character would just teleport around a little bit. So that's something I need to fix later. I want to be able to implement many characters so it's very important that I have a good like parent and child structure. I will have one blueprint for the base character which everybody is inherited from. So even the, the female warrior hero is also inherited from the same blueprint as the skeleton guy. I then just created a simple health and death system on the parent blueprint that is shared between both characters. Next I just made a very simple attack system. I just attached a box collision to our character we'll use for collision detection. But later on I'll need a much more intricate system for the hitbox because I want to allow the hitbox to change during the animation and also do things like multi-hitting moves. For now when you press the attack button it will instantly check if an enemy is inside the hitbox and apply damage. Eventually again I want to fire this from a certain frame of the animation instead of just having it be instant. When implementing the attack animation was the first time I ran into limitations with the 2D system in Unreal Engine. So there's no animation graph like you would have in 3D characters. So you have to keep track of your state with booleans and manually change your flipbook whenever you want to play a different animation. This is doable but definitely not a great workflow. I know there are some plugins on the marketplace that allow you to create like anim graphs and anim notifies for Paper 2D, so I'll definitely look into those soon. I also ran into this issue where non-looping animations freeze up so I needed to figure out a workaround to stop that. 
Then I also implemented the attack for the skeleton, but as I said before, the sprites are kind of messed up, so you can see it uh, teleport around. So then I wanted to change the hitbox for the warrior to trigger on a certain animation frame. Uh, if you work with 3D, you would use an anim notify to do this, but like I said before, there are no anim notifies in 2D, so you have to kind of work around that by checking on tick which animation is playing and checking which frame of the animation it is and then trigger your action on the frame you want it to trigger. Uh, again, this is definitely not a great system, but it works. So I will deal with it for now until I get a plugin. Then I wanted to fix the animation of the skeleton, so I imported all the sprites into a sprite. I then made sure that all the cells have the same height and width and that the character always starts in the same position. Then to test my concept of having enemies be playable, I just possessed the skeleton and checked if everything works and it works fine. There's still a lot left to do, but as you can see I was able to set up a basic beat-em-up in only a few hours. I plan to keep on working on this game on the side while I also make tutorials and other video content. So please subscribe if you want to see how the game progresses. See you in the next video.